these are indeed uh, proud moments and a proud period for football on the African continent, uh, taking into account the, the performance of, of all of our five uh, uh, national teams that were representing Africa at the FIFA World Cup Qatar, and, and in particular, the historic achievements of, of Morocco that has made all of us exceptionally proud. They've made all of us in Africa uh, uniquely proud. I think we should also be proud of what uh, Cameroon did uh, in, in, uh, in Qatar, made us very, very proud. And, uh, and also we should be proud of, uh, of Tunisia, uh, their victory against uh, one of the top, top teams in the world. And Ghana did so well. So w what I want to say in conclusion is that uh, I think the connection between the heart and the brain, because uh, uh, we, we, we have to look at things objectively and, and make a, uh, an appropriate assessment. And of course, our infrastructure, and particularly facilities and uh, uh, youth academies, schools, football, I talk about that, but the infrastructure in Africa is not what it is in other parts of the world, and we're making good progress, and I'll talk about that. But, uh, but also, we shouldn't underestimate the importance of, of, uh, of finance, of uh, the salaries that players earn, that coaches earn, in, in, in other parts of the world. And that's why I think it's so critical we look at our finances and the brain. And as I said, what gave me inspiration is not what Pele said, but how Croatia performed in Russia. And if you look at the talent on the African continent, there's, in my mind, there's approximately 10 nations in Africa now that can compete at the highest level in the world and win. 10 nations, and it may be 15. But I have to say, we have to encourage every single one of the 54 nations in Africa. If Croatia can make it with three and a half million people, and the key issue for us now, you know, sometimes we say all the right things and we intend to do all the right things, but we don't follow through with focused, determined, hard work. And, and, uh, and a focus on results. So I'm, I'm confident that uh, at the next World Cup, uh, our aim is to, you know, with Morocco has made all of us proud and all of the other four made us proud, is to go further. And, and uh, the, the main objective is indeed uh, an African nation will indeed win the World Cup. We have to believe 